Okay, so when you don't judge, when you judge something, you're cutting off your consciousness. Remember, we live in an infinite universe, okay? So the minute you make a judgment on anything, you have just limited your universe because you have just stated something is what it is, okay? And we all have our own perceptions. So we, in essence, we all are creating our own universes. So they had the gift of just living an amazing, flowing, positive life. Okay, and they definitely had natural healing skills. It's just a part of who they are. They, um, they also work with the dolphin energy, which we also call in the dolphin energy. There's just so many aspects to light activation. I can just tell you so many amazing things. But what I want to do is start having you experience some of this. So, the first thing we're going to do is some body scans. So they're like, we're going to scan people's bodies, and then we're going to do voodoo on them. <laughs> that was a joke. Okay, if you know me, I'm kind of silly. All right, we're going to do a body scan, and what we do is we go through your body and we start doing a reading on you. We're going to find, it's like an accelerated healing, and um, what we'll do is we'll take turns doing that, and then whoever's not doing the body scan, the other two are going to perform a healing on you while they're talking. So what I have to ask is, who would like to get one? Because we can probably only do a few, but there's a catch. You must sign a waiver because this is being done on video and it will be out in the public. So um, we'll start with three people and yes. And so I will do the first body scan. And let me see who is being called to me. We're going to actually go into a meditation where we're going to do a group healing. And then if we have time, we'll do more, okay? So don't give up on us, baby, like the song says. I'll spare you my singing. <laughs> hey. How are you today? Okay, just relax. And I'm just going to start sending frequency into her crown. Oh, I didn't mention. Light activation uses frequency instead of energy. You might have heard of Reiki and other healing, uh, healing sources. Frequency is energy, but it's accelerated and it's laser-like. And, it, and it's universal and it's amazing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just start sending frequency through her head and I am tuning in and I'm seeing a blockage in her throat chakra. So when I start seeing blockages, I'm going to ask, why is this block here? Because that's what we do. When we see an issue, we want to know what it is so we can give some guidance. So give me a minute. Okay, what I'm hearing is you really need to learn to speak your truth, that you are very confident, but there are times that you hold back because it feels like people won't understand you that you do very much have a higher perception. So you are seeing on higher planes and then being in just the regular mass consciousness of people that may not understand, you kind of hold back a little bit because you think they don't understand or they don't appreciate it or they don't realize it. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Okay, so you're a healer and you just have to stand in your power because even if people don't agree with you, you're planting the seed. And you don't need to convince anybody, and they don't need to agree with you, but if you plant that seed, the angels and their spirit guides are going to make sure they get the message down the road somehow. So um, your guides are actually saying free yourself from that, and feel free to speak as long as you're coming through a place of love, and then let it go at the courts. They're also saying that you tend to be around harsh people. Um, people that just are difficult to be around and they're saying you know what it's time to move on from that and go into new communities and around um, manifest new people who are in alignment with who you are I'm moving down into your stomach and I'm hearing that there are some digestive issues um, yeah there are okay. they're asking you to be really um, diligent on um, they're first saying green foods like kale and natural dark leafy greens in a drink form, but also enzymes to make sure you're really diligent on your enzymes. And now I'm being led to your left foot. The left side of you is your receiving side and the right side is your giving side. And it's hard for you to receive. 
So because it's hard for you to receive, it's hard for you to move forward. So if you can open up to letting people give to you and you know just saying, okay, even if you don't need the help, balancing that giving and receiving 50-50, you're gonna be able to step forward and I'm seeing a lot more abundance coming to you as a result of that. Thank you very much. Does that make sense? Absolutely, it makes sense. Um, it's funny because as I was here these last couple of days, everything you talked about, like the green food, um, enzymes, everything like that, all like I was just guided to go to those booths and talk to these people about it. So yeah, it just makes sense. Great, thank you. Thank you for coming up. Yes. Thank you. First thing I'm picking up is stagnant energy on your back, like a heaviness. Um, my two sides, like below the shoulder base, just going down. Um, so, practitioners will hear that. And I'm getting like a heaviness in the heart. So I'm getting, I'm picking up sadness. And I'm seeing right now like three um, male energy um, around your age. So, really past passed over, so I'm picking that up right now, so I'm getting like uh, sadness, like a sadness in the heart area, so you guys do your work on that, and I'm also sensing like a grandmother energy right behind you, and she just wants you to know that she's there watching you as a spirit guide, and she's, um, she's protecting her love to you, and she just wants you to know that she's still there behind you, um, with you, standing side by side with you, she wants to know that she loves her grandson so much. If I could convey that emotion to you right now, I would, but I'm just feeling it through the emotions, so that's what I'm getting. Um, your spirit guides or your angels want you to work on your creativity, so I didn't know what creative um, area that you're in, but they want you to expand that, and um, they see you taking, um, using your creativity and taking it to the next step and to the next level, because they're saying it's time to move now, um, the world is changing and they want you to move and to be on your path. And it's no longer sitting on the sidelines and to pick up your feet and start moving. That's what I'm doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My, grandmother, my grandmother passed over in spirit and um, I have a big picture of her up and I always talk to the picture and um, I'm glad she was behind me. So. She's behind you, she's with you. She's um, in your The first thing I'm seeing is you have actually a really good ability to manifest. Yes, you can. But the, um, what you get uh, tripped on is that when you, when you don't see the results right away, you tend to go into the negative cycle. Like you're questioning your ability, you question your thoughts, you question what you want, and you start to attract those things around you also. So like it goes, you know, downward spiral instead of, oh, you know, like, okay, maybe it's not happening right now, but I'm sure like this is what I want, and this is where I'm, where I'm going. So don't let the um, naysayers bring you down. Also, don't uh, get distracted by something seems like a roadblock to you. Yeah, because you can actually don't have to even you know remove the obstacle. Like if, if you're open to it, you can just kind of go over, like a fly over it. Yeah, and also um. Another thing I'm seeing is uh, circulation in the lower body is slower than what, um, what's on your upper body. So feel grounded, connected to the Mother Earth. That will help you to uh, bring in those manifestations quicker and uh, let your life uh, move faster. Yeah.